everyone welcome to my channel so today's video is going to be on this look right here it's just a very smoky purple look I don't really know what I'm gonna call it yet it's just basically a super smoky eye with purple instead of black or brown and I'm also wearing colored contacts so yeah um, if you like this look and want to see how I got it then please keep watching Okay, so I've already primed my eye and now moving right into shadow, I am starting with this shade right here. It's Soft Brown from MAC and a Morphe M441, just a fluffy shadow brush. I'm just going to start buffing that into the crease as our transition shade and I'm taking this pretty high and pretty far inward, like I'm really bringing it up towards the inner part of my brow here and that's just going to give us a really overall smoky effect. Next I'm picking up this color right here. This is Quarry from MAC and it looks a little more gray on camera in person. It's got a little more purple to it. It's just a cool toned purple with a little bit of gray and I'm taking that same fluffy brush and just kind of going over that same area. This is just going to start bringing in those purpley tones. So then I'm going to take this Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo. This one is in the shade Vintage Plum and I'm just going to take a flat synthetic brush and just pack that all over my lid as a base so that the shadow we put on our lid will really stick and pop. Okay, so once that's on, I'm picking up this shade right here. This is... Oh. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, as I was saying, I'm picking up this shade right here. This is Sketch from MAC, and it's kind of a cranberry, purpley, plummy kind of color. And I'm taking a flat brush. And I'm just going to pack that all over my lid where I just put that cream base. Okay, so then I'm picking up Quarry again on a denser, fluffy brush. It looks like this, and this is a Morphe M433. And I'm just going to start buffing out the edges of that darker color so there's no harsh lines. Okay, so once I've got that sort of buffed out, I'm going to go in with this shade right here, this purpley one. I'm pretty sure it's from NYX. It doesn't have a name on it, but it's just a dark matte purple and I'm going to take that same dense brush and I'm just going to kind of pat it on the outer corner of my eye and then start to drag it into the crease. And then when I get to the inner more part I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is a Morphe E18 in that same color and just keep driving into the crease. I'm just using a smaller brush so that it doesn't get up too high because this is a smaller area. First fluffy brush and just start kind of lightly buffing the edges. And you can take that fluffy brush with a little more soft brown. Just kind of lightly go along the edges of that. So then for the lower lash line, I'm going to start with the shade Quarry and I'm just going to run that along 
my lower lashes just as kind of like a blending color again. And you can bring it pretty far down. As you can see, this one's kind of far down on this side. Then taking a definer brush and that dark matte purple from NYX, I'm just going to press that up against the base of my lashes. Then I'm taking a pencil brush and sketch and I'm just going to go right underneath that. And then taking a small little fluffy brush like this, I'm going to take a little bit of sketch and quarry and just kind of blend everything out. And then again taking that flat definer brush and some black, I'm just going to smudge that against the base of my lashes just for a little extra smokiness and depth and also to kind of help blend in our lash band. So then I'm going to take this pencil from Urban Decay's in the shade Smoke, which is a dark gray, and I'm going to line my upper and lower waterline with this. And then I'm just going to apply some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous. And then for lashes, I'm using the House of Lashes in the Style Iconic. Okay, so then to highlight the brow bone and inner corner, I'm using this right here. This is the MAC Shaping Powder in Emphasize, just a brightening powder. So it's not going to add any shimmer because I want this to stay pretty matte. Okay, so moving on to the face, I have already done my foundation concealer powder, so now I'm going to do bronzer, and this is the Hoola bronzer from Benefit, and I'm just taking that on a Morphe M401, and I'm just going to warm up the face with that. Then for blush, I'm going to use this shade right here, which is Melba from MAC. And I'm just going to use that same brush. Then for highlight, I'm going to use a little bit of this cream stick highlight from Trace Deek. I'm going to apply that on my finger and then onto the high points of my cheeks. And on the bridge and tip of my nose. And my cupid's bow. And then before I do my powder highlight, I'm just going to use some of that Pro Emphasize powder underneath my eyes just to brighten it a little bit. Also, my forehead and my chin. Okay, so for my powder highlight, I'm using two. They are both from ColourPop. This one is Might Be. It's more of a goldie. And then this one is Flexitarian, and it's a lot more like champagne-y. So I'm just going to mix those two together.
Okay, so to finish this look off with the lips, I am lining with this pencil from Urban Decay in the shade Naked. And then for lipstick, I'm using the Too Faced Melted Matte, and this is in the shade Queen Bee. Okay, so that completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will put a link right here on the screen, along with my last couple of videos if you have not seen those, and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye!